Hey folks, you all know what this is, don't you? Yeah, the famous red special. Well, I'm excited to uh, bring you this video, and so is my dog. And um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a massive Queen fan. I was when I was younger. But I am a big Brian May fan. What do I mean by that? Well, Brian May is one of these guitar players that has a distinctive style and sound, thanks most a lot to this guitar, but also to his playing, that when he plays, you know it's him. You just know it's him. He's got a tone all of his own. I would say, in that bracket, Mick Ronson. Bowie's guitarist from the Ziggy period. I know it's him when he's playing. Uh, Mike Oldfield of Tubular Bells fame. I know it's him when he's playing. So I like those kind of guitar players. They play one note and you can tell who it is. Brian May is one of those. Uh, I particularly like it when he does the um, uh, guitar bits like on Lazy uh, on a Sunday afternoon where he makes his guitar sound like a brass band and of course he does it with his Red Special. I've been watching this guitar company for a while waiting to buy a guitar to show you. I don't know if you can see on there. Uh, the company is um, mislabeled on Amazon as Ivy, I-V-Y. It's actually I-Y-V. I don't know why they do that, but if you search on Amazon for these, uh, you have to search Ivy and not I-Y-V. Uh, I don't know why. And I've been waiting to buy one of their guitars because I've been hearing good things about um, this brand. Uh, and when the Red Special popped up, I thought, well, I've never had one of those. Let's see what it does. So, um, IYV stands for Inyan Vina, I N Y E N, separate word V I N A. It is a Korean company, but the guitars are made in Vietnam. And, you know, some of the new Harley Bentons are made in Vietnam as well, so it's possible that they're made in the same place. I don't know. Uh, this uh, is not directly. Um, similar to a Red Special, there are some differences and those of you who are experts on this guitar uh, will see it right away. I think the original headstock is the same color as the um, body, the red, but I think they've got it fairly close. It looks to me very very similar to uh, Harley Benton's, um, maybe it's a bit bigger in body, but it's very similar to Harley Benton's Brian May uh, guitar. Uh, well, I think they've discontinued now. I don't know if this is related to that, but um, this is the IBM 200 TRD. It doesn't mention Red Special anywhere, why would it? Uh, but that's basically what they're copying here. Uh, it's not an illegal guitar, it's sold uh, on Amazon. Uh, by the way, if you want a deal on this guitar, Amazon's right now selling it less than 200. If you go to eBay or Reverb, it's a hundred more. I think those are all middlemen sellers that are buying them from Amazon or when you buy them they just ship them from Amazon. So don't buy this guitar off eBay or Reverb, you'll pay a lot more. Go to Amazon um, and you'll buy it directly from the seller. I think they've got a few of these left. But this is the Brian May guitar, uh, the Red Special copy. Uh, let me give you a little whirl on it. some of the uh, the uh, toggles here. I'll just play the same chord. I'm not sure the, the science behind these, but they're fun. You can get these sort of sounds. And then uh, this one here gives you a lot of bottom mids, you know, uh, sound. Let's see what else we got. Much thinner sounds there. Gives you kind of a strat sound. Here's the last one. Some of them do more than others. Give you a little bit of filth. Let me turn the green on. Whoa.
Uh, I don't play much electric these days, so I'm always a bit out of practice on that. But you can tell, you can get a lot of cool sounds on this. You don't have to play like Queen style. It's quite versatile. I actually like some of the funky sounds you get on this. And you can see how Brian used this guitar seamlessly on their rockier albums, the earlier albums, and then on albums like Hot Space when they were exploring disco and he was playing more funk lines. This guitar does that sort of stuff. Now, of course, this is not the original. I think they've captured the essence of it somewhat. For a sub $200 guitar, this is well worth it. It's really quite fun. Uh, I believe it's an old mahogany body. The, the, fret, the um, finish and the binding is really nice. Black pick guards, which is classic red special. Um, really nice rosewood board on this um, with the um, zero fret there, which I think is uh, original with Brian May's guitar. Nice spear type headstock with the inlaid um, design there for IYV. Uh, it's a bit heavy, but not really any heavier than most uh, guitars of this style, like most Les Paul copies and things like that. In fact, it might be a bit lighter. Uh, I like the pickups on this. Uh, I'm not sure. It says um, Destiny CNC wound. The funny thing about this guitar is uh, if you look at the advert on Amazon, uh, they all say punctually um, designed with CNC machine or something like that. And uh, I, I prefer my guitars to be on time, don't you? Uh, but these are all made uh, with a high powered CNC. I gotta say, um, this thing was pretty close when I got it out of the box. I did do a little bit of fret filing on the ends, but not for fret spout, more, more the corners. I took a, 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 a three-cornered file uh, and just got the corners a little bit just to smooth it off. There was no real fret spouts, sprouts on it. I did tweak the truss rod just a little bit, not much, and I lowered the action uh, here with the saddles, maybe two turns each. I think they just set them up high to cover most people's playing styles. I lowered it down uh, and then I also lowered or, or actually uh, raised the pickups a little bit closer to the strings. All of 25-30 minutes work really. And I really like the... Uh, I really like how, how it came out. This is going to be fun. I think I'm going to keep this for a while and play it. Um, I like the... Uh, the diversity I can get out of this guitar without pedals even, just with an amp. I would say the one, perhaps two weaknesses on this guitar that some of you might want to mod. First of all, the tuning keys are just your bog standard die-cast tuners that you see on a lot of acoustic guitars. You could take those out, put some locking tuners on there if you want, maybe some Grovers. That would be the number one. Maybe you could uh, upgrade uh, this to a better uh, bridge with saddles. I think it's fine. It does come with a truss rod. Sorry, not a truss rod, a tremolo bar right here. Uh, but there's not a lot of play. It's not a full floating tremolo or anything. It's just a, um, a pretty stock whammy bar system. So I left it off. I don't really need it on this particular guitar. But check out uh, these guitars on Amazon. Go to Amazon and put in Ivy, I-V-Y, and right now they've got about six or seven um, guitars that are really cheap. Uh, and if they're all as well made as this one, I think they're all bargains. There's a, a, a green uh, Les Paul a fling top that looks good. There's a, a PRS green flame uh, thing that I've been tempted to buy uh, just because I can't afford a PRS or even an SE. Um, so I might just check this one out and see uh, how, how good it is. And then there are some other, um, there's a neck through going for 200 and something dollars, flame top uh, PRS style neck through. Um, th that's obscene. The cheapest neck through I've seen is about four, 450 and I thought that was a bargain. Um, and there's a few other things. There's some nice looking basses as well if you're a bass player. But I got a feeling that this IYV uh, brand is going to be a new discovery kind of like uh, the Indio guitars from Monoprice or the Harley Benton guitars or Agile slash SX slash Douglas electrics from Rondo. 
I think this is going to uh, be right up there. I'm very uh, impressed with the finish, the craftsmanship, the shape of the neck. Um, the frets are j nice medium jumbo frets on this. Um, no real issues on it. It seems that the wiring's all sound. I haven't figured out all of the settings on there, um, but most Brian May enthusiasts um, won't know them anyway because, um, you know, it's uh, uh, quite a discovery just to play with them. Uh, it's got sort of the, the Filtertron looking pickups uh, that I think sound decent. Um, so really, I'm quite pleased with this guitar. I mean, t uh, with uh, delivery and tax and all that, it was under $100, $200. Uh, and I think this is a, a great deal. Here's the back of it, by the way. So you do have a back cavity. You've got a nice um, neck joint there. It's fully bound all the way around. It's quite a, a pretty looking guitar, isn't it? It's a nice copy. Uh, some of you purists will note the slight difference in shape, probably, and some other things that are not quite... Uh, dead on with the original, but I, I think a lot of these guitars are tribute guitars rather than direct copies. They're going for essence. Uh, maybe they're not trying to fool anyone. Um, they just want to make a guitar uh, that people can play and feel like they're Brian May. I don't know. But anyway, this is the IYV IBM 200 TRD. It's made in Vietnam. Uh, and it's my first Vietnamese electric guitar, and I'm quite impressed with it. And uh, you know, I've heard such good things about some of the new Harley Bentons that are being made there. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, just thought I'd do a quick video with you and show you and share it with you. Uh, some of you might want to gra go grab one. I think there's only about eight left. And the last time when I got this, they went quickly. I think there were five, and I, I bought one, and there were none. So, um, if you're interested in getting a Red Special type guitar, uh, at an obscene price range um, Yeah, go grab one of these and tell me what you think or check out one of the other IV I slash IYV uh, Guitars and let me know what you think. All right. See you next time